What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Connor Speed 6 and as you can see today I'm smashing transit vans and driving in Forza Horizon 5 on the wheel. Now what I wanted to do today is is actually see if I could be competitive in a trial event, one of the festival playlist events, on my Logitech G920. Now what I will be doing is running with all of my assists off like always sim steering and just regular manual transmission not using the h pattern the h pattern is a little bit loud unfortunately when you shift and the microphone of course picks up on all that so i don't think that would be very good content so until i can keep this thing from being just the noisiest rig ever made uh this is what we're gonna do so yeah i brought up uh, in my discord the other day on my members channel i guess or members server in there uh, that i wanted to do a little bit more wheel play in forza horizon 5 so we're going to start it out with a bang. What we're doing is going to be driving this Renault Megane RS. I already have it built. I have a tune shared. It is for B-Class Road Grip. And I just want to see how competitive I could be in a trial event using this car. Now what I'll do is I'll start out the race most likely like this in the uh, Chase Far Cam so I can make sure I can see the people on the inside and outside of me. And then if I end up getting away from traffic and uh, sort of out in the clean air, uh, I will drop it down uh, into hood cam more than likely. Uh, now, I, again, I've driven this car around a little bit on the map and cruised a bit, so I am familiar with it. I do have a feel for the car using the wheel. I'm glad this is a low class event because the wheel in high classes is probably gonna be a little bit more difficult, uh, but we're gonna see right now. So let's head on down and find ourselves a trial event. I've already completed it using the controller, of course. Uh, so we'll just fast travel down there now and see if we can be competitive on the wheel in Forza Horizon 5. Oh, right on time. 13 seconds until the next event starts. So we're going to really jump right in. I don't have any time to really prepare mentally. So let's see how this goes. Now, like I said, I do have this B-Class Road Grip Tune shared if you'd like to use it. It's a little bit slow because it's not super overpowered, but it handles very, very well. It has rally tires, all wheel drive in the stock engine, plus a little bit of horsepower upgrades. So we'll see how this does. If you do use the tune, let me know some feedback down in the comments below. My gamer tag is Connor Speed 6. That's Connor with an E. So if you'd like to download it, check it out in my creative hub. It is available now. So we've got a couple NSXs, a couple Porsches, a Corvette. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a couple people here who don't know how to brake because they're just gonna be in overpowered vehicles. Tons of power, no grip. It'd be great if I actually started at the back. Okay, this works, I'll stay, I'll take that. This is gonna be interesting again. Uh, I'm, I'm kinda nervous, but we will see here. When I did this just on my controller to complete the event, there was lots and lots of rubbing, as some people like to call it, and not a lot of great driving. But we'll see, I might be in the ladder uh, going forward using the wheel. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna do some left foot braking. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm not going to be able to look behind me because I don't have buttons mapped for all that. That Corvette is already sliding about. That NSX, the AI... Okay, what the hell is that? Only hang up, of course, using my wheel is the brake pedal. But I do have it pretty much set up properly uh, to make it less sucky. Okay, feeling pretty good. I'm already up into, what, P5? Homie, I'm the, homie in the Corvette here struggling for grip. Oh, thanks, homie. Thanks, dude. Looks like he's struggling for grip, so okay, so it's up to me now. Hopefully I can catch up to these goons out front. I'm probably going to get past pretty handily. No, I guess not. Again, I have no... I'm nervous, like I'm shaking a little bit. Uh, I have no assists on, so no ABS, no traction control. I have sim steering, of course. I do have braking line, but it's because I'm in an online event and I'm using a wheel. Uh, so don't dice me in uh, the comments section below for that. A little tap of the e-brake. Make sure I didn't smash into the wall. I'm actually doing pretty good. It is a low-class event, or low-class racing here, so it's not too difficult. I'm not locking up the brakes, which that was my biggest fear, honestly. And I'm catching up to the unbeatable AI out front. They're not unbeatable, I promise. They just are fast in a straight line. 
Oh, cut that beautifully. Come on, power down. Let's go. I have my wheel rotation set to, I believe, 360. For me, it's pretty damn good because if you notice when you're in the cockpit and driving, if you have the steering wheel view in front of you, oh, I just need to get past one more car. Uh, the driver's hands really never rotate past 90 degrees. Got it. Let's go. Woo. Okay, here we go. Wow, I'm actually really impressed by how this feels, honestly. Uh, what I might do is I might actually share my settings in a video here coming up soon. Because it does feel really good. Uh, I've been working on it. As you know, my, my four-year-old loves playing this on the wheel. I have the uh, buttons mapped properly for him and stuff. Oh, a little downshift. Can I get him? Can I get him? Oh! Let's go, baby. Taking P2 on the wheel in the trial. Let's get it. That was awesome. Okay, love these, this event, the Estadio circuit. All right, I'm in last place, so... I got a lot of uh, catching up to do here, trying to get more comfortable in my seat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just going to kinda send it up, nah, I was gonna send it up the inside, but the NSX kinda cut. Uh, always chaos out there. Come on. Woo, okay. Got through some crazy traffic there. I got the hangster here representing dubs. I just got to get by them and then catch up to the AI. Oh, not bad there on that little chicane. Come on, hangster. Let's go, baby. Third gear drop. Oh, hangster goes wide, sends it into the wall a little bit. Just me and the AI now. I'm really liking the feel of the con of the, uh, the the wheel, honestly. The only thing I don't like that I've actually adjusted later, metric dead baby, uh, was the vibra uh, vibration. The force feedback's fine, but the vibrations were way, way, way too much. Oh, especially on the wheel when you were off-roading. Uh, like cross-country racing, it just chattered so loudly. But I basically turned the vibration almost down to nothing because I just want all force feedback, honestly. I don't I don't need the vibration when the, the control or when the wheel's basically centering itself and I feel the feedback uh, from the tires slipping and all that stuff. Alright, so NP2 lap two. Should be able to get the AI right here with the proper drive through. Uh, I slowed down just a little bit too much on corner entry. But let's get him right here. Slow down a little bit too much. Let's go, baby. Come on. I love this Estadio circuit. It's so much fun. Fast, flowing, technical in some spots. I do have the seven speed gearbox in this tune, but you do not need all seven. Whoa, tap of the e-brake there, which I do have mapped to my B button. Oh, first little tap of the wall I've had. Come on, guys. I don't want to do a third race if I don't have to. Come on, boys, pick it up. You know, I really wish that there was an option to where I could just hit a quick chat that says, please quit, and have the people in the, the last place positions just quit on us. Because honestly, if they quit, we'd probably be winning right now. Oh, snap! Oh, I tried to send it a little bit too hard. Come on. Damn it, I'm not going to finish first in either of these events. And we're going to have to do a third race.
Don't know how far behind me the other car was, but too close for comfort, obviously. Third person view here so we can make sure we're not getting destroyed or destroying somebody else in the corners. All right, that a baby. Well, at least we don't have like any hard braking 90 degree corners that we have to worry about here. Took that beautifully. Come on, people in last place. Let's go. Get around those AI cars. If I get out front, I'm going to uh, probably have to slow down some of the AI cars just to help some people behind us, if possible. All right, let's get into first person here. Hood view. I really prefer this view when on the wheel because, oh, use seventh gear there. That was, uh, that was tough. Come on, Connor. Oh, I was waiting to get a, a little door slapper there from him. But we're okay. All right, so I'm out in front of control in the race now. Holy crap, that was close. That was stressful. So what I can do, if I stay out in front and I need to help the teammate or team out a little bit, I can always slow down my AI car if possible. Well, I actually just slowed him down a bit, so hopefully uh, Hankster can catch up. I'm saying Hankster, but it's Hank Star. Holy crap. This is way more fun than I thought it was going to be, and I'm glad I have seventh gear because I need it on this event. And it, and it actually works pretty well. It gives me a few, miles, a few more miles per hour. So... Not gonna lie here, this is actually pretty easy on the wheel. I was anticipating it being way more difficult, but let me preface this. Well, I'm not prefacing it because I already said it, but I am in a B-class road car. Now, we're not talking S1 rally racing or, you know, A or S1 cross country. This is a low class grip build, uh, so the car's not really sliding about. I'm not having to counter steer and correct a lot. So it's a little bit easier uh, than some other racing might be on the wheel. Let's drop it back down into sixth there. So it looks good for us. I think we're going to take this win easily. I know I'm taking the win easily here. So hell yes, dude. Representing for the wheel users out in front. Connor speed six, baby. Let's go. So I actually finished first place on my team every single race. P2 in the first two, P1 in the last one. And Team Blue takes the dub. I feel bad for the person who quit. Somebody quit. And uh, yeah, so this feels really, really good. This It's surprising, honestly. I don't want to say how easy, but how much easier this is than I thought it was going to be. It feels good. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get a uh, recording done of my settings soon. So if you guys would like to see that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. I'll get that probably shared pretty soon uh, because I think these settings that I have are feeling pretty perfect. Overall, this was a ton of fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like down below and a positive comment for me in the comments section. And if you like to use my tune, again, it is shared. My gamer tag is Connor Speed 6 spelled exactly how the YouTube channel name is. One thing that I would recommend doing on your wheel if you're on the Logitech G920 especially is make the adjustments accordingly to your brake pressures. We already know, anyone who has a G920 already knows that the brake pedal is a bit difficult to deal with properly and uh, you, you sort of end up out braking yourself often and locking up the brakes if you use ABS off. If you would like to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you could always turn ABS on, and that's going to cause a lot fewer lockups for you, especially if you're in online trying to race uh, competitively. Now, I probably won't use the wheel competitive because we all know that the controller is always going to be faster in Forza Horizon especially, but if I do take it online in a lobby against my friends or on stream sometime, I will most likely turn my ABS on so I, real, so I don't have to think too hard about braking. I can just sort of smash the pedal uh, and turn in. 
Because right there I locked up just a little bit and caused myself to understeer through the apex. But yeah, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Again, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I have been Connor Speed 6. Until next time, much love, everyone. See you soon. Oh, 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 o